Organizations are facing a new challenge. How to keep their data safe because everyone and everything is going to cloud. Data that was once easily secured within the four walls of a data center becomes complex to manage in a multi-cloud environment. So, how can you know who or what you can trust? The best defense is to trust nothing. Instead, authenticate and authorize everything. Assume that everything could be a threat and require any service and any person trying to connect to your environment to verify their identity. This is the basis of zero trust security. In other words, zero trust security or ZTS is a cybersecurity approach that assumes that no one or nothing can be trusted by default. Instead, it verifies the identity and authorization of all users and devices before granting access to resources. This helps to protect organization from a wide range of threats, including insider threats, advanced persistent threats or APTs, and supply chain attacks. Let's dive deeper into GTS with some real-life examples. For many years, the perimeter-based security model was the standard approach to cybersecurity for all organizations. The perimeter-based security model is based on the idea of creating a strong perimeter around an organization's network and protecting everything inside the perimeter. This is typically done using firewalls and other security technologies. The perimeter-based security model was effective for many years because it was relatively simple to implement and manage. However, those same solutions are no longer sufficient as companies move to cloud. One of the biggest challenges with the perimeter-based security model is that it assumes that everything inside the perimeter is trusted. This is no longer a safe assumption as organizations are increasingly moving to the cloud and using hybrid and multi-cloud environment. In addition, the perimeter-based security model does not protect against insider threats or advanced persistent threats or APTs. Insider threats are the threats that come from within the organization, such as employees or contractors who go rogue. APTs, on the other hand, are highly sophisticated attacks that are carried out by well-funded adversaries. Imagine a large bank with a traditional perimeter-based security model. All of the bank's internal systems are protected by a firewall and only authorized users are allowed to access them from the outside. However, if an attacker is able to breach the firewall and gain access to the internal network, they will have a free hand to roam around and steal data or launch attacks. With a ZTS model, the bank's internal systems would be segmented into smaller networks, each with its own set of security controls. User would only be granted access to the networks and systems that they need to do their jobs. Even if an attacker is able to breach one of the networks, they would be unable to move laterally to the other networks or access sensitive data. ZTS is based on the principle of never trust, always verify, which means that all access requests, big or small, are fully authenticated and authorized and encrypted before granting access, regardless of whether the request is coming from inside or outside the network. The National Institute of Standards and Technology, NIST, has published a framework for ZTS. NIST publication outlines ZTS model for access control in cloud native applications in multi-cloud environments. This framework provides guidance on building and implementing ZTS, addressing principles like least privilege, micro-segmentation, continuous monitoring, and adaptive authentication. Least privilege access means users are only granted access to the users that they need to do their jobs. This helps to prevent attackers from gaining access to sensitive data or systems, even if they are able to compromise a user's account. Micro-segmentation means the network is divided into smaller segments, each with its own set of security controls. This helps to limit the damage that an attacker can do if they are able to breach one segment of the network. Continuous verification means all access requests are continuously verified regardless of whether the request is coming from inside or outside the network. This verification includes checking the user's identity, device security posture, and context of the request. And finally, adaptive authentication means adjusting security based on context such as location or user's behavior. Imagine a hospital using ZTS. A doctor logs in from home, maybe a remote user, on a personal device. Before accessing the patient records, the system verifies the doctor's identity through multi-factor authentication. The doctor enters their username and password, and the system prompts for an additional factor, such as a code from an authenticator app or a fingerprint scan. The system then checks the device security posture. It scans the doctor's device for vulnerabilities, ensures it is up to date with antivirus software and operating system, and that it is in compliance with security policies of the company, such as it is encryption enabled or has strong passwords. Now in GTS, the hospital's network isn't a single open space. 
it is divided into smaller isolated segments using software defined parameters or sdps it grants access to only specific patient records the doctor needs for their current task preventing access to other segments of the network a zts based network also continuously monitors the session and user behavior for any suspicious activity if suspicious activity is detected access can be revoked immediately this layered approach makes it much harder for an attacker who might steal the doctor's credentials or compromise their device even if they access the system they'd be limited to a specific patient record and quickly flagged for suspicious activity now while nist doesn't endorse specific vendors many offer zts solutions for example palo alto networks prisma access cisco's securex and cisco aniconnect and mccafe's mvision cloud also many organizations from healthcare to finance are adopting zts some examples include jp morgan chase They implemented ZTS to secure access to cloud applications for thousands of their employees. United Airlines used ZTS to restrict access to sensitive aviation data on employee devices. Now there are a number of tools and technologies that can be used to implement ZTS. IAM solutions provide a way to authenticate and authorize users and devices. They can also be used to enforce least privilege access and micro segmentation. Micro segmentation solutions divide the network into smaller segments and apply security controls to each segment. This helps to limit the damage that an attacker can do even if they are able to breach one segment of the network. Cloud security solutions can be used to protect applications and data that are hosted in the cloud. They include features such as encryption, data loss prevention and access control. And finally, SIEM or security information and even management solutions collect and analyze security logs from across the network. This information can be used to analyze, detect and respond to security threats. ZTS helps organizations to improve their overall security posture by reducing the attack surface and making it more difficult for attackers to gain access to sensitive data and systems. ZTS can help organizations to comply with a variety of industry regulations such as GDPR or HIPAA, providing enhanced compliance. It can help organizations to become more agile and responsive to change. This is because Zero trust security is designed to be flexible and scalable and it can be adapted to meet the specific needs of your organization.